we're, we're delighted now to have in the in the studio Matt Healy. We give Matt a big round of applause. Olympic gold champion. Imagine growing up idolising your sporting hero, only to find out years later you are standing on a podium with him side by side, sharing a gold medal. Respect to you, my friend. Yeah, and it's, it's so weird how everything has turned out. Genuinely, it's so weird. And not just, I mean, the fact that you actually awarded each other the gold medal because of COVID restrictions yeah. and things, that must have been a very special moment. Yeah, you. like it's almost better because usually someone who you don't really know gives you a medal, gives you someone quite like, important. But it was even more so important that my, my single partner, my best friend and my idol when I was growing up gave me my gold medal. Yes, yeah, so let's talk about your idol growing up, because obviously Tom's a bit older than you. Yeah. So when were you first aware of Tom Daly? So I started diving when I was seven years old, um, and I'm pretty sure he was in, you know, he's been in the limelight since he was like 13 yeah. years old. Like he went to the Olympics when he was 14, he was a world champion when he was 15. So it's pretty much straight away, um, I, was, I was obviously a huge fan of his. Yeah. And because obviously I was in his sport, I was like looking up to him. He was my role model. Um, Look, they, how old were you in this? Picture. Oh, um, I have no, I, I don't, I don't know. But obviously, clearly, I can. Yeah, I'm you're really a lot young. younger than him. Yeah, he was lot, young. Yeah, yeah. I think you're about seven if we worked, looked at the year. Yeah, the seven match. or eight, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah, so it's so weird how it's all turned out. So you went up and said, can I have your autograph? Yeah, literally, I, I, multiple times as well. Like I've not, not just that photo, but like I'd get a photo with him or try and like, get him to sign like a poster. So yeah. So why did you? You said that you you started diving at seven, which seems very young to me. What mm. made you choose diving? So I was learning to swim. Um, and my older brother uh, did diving and the, the way he literally got into it was I think my mum picked up a flyer um, from the local like swimming baths and I guess he tried it and then after a swimming lesson I watched my brother dive and I was like wow that looks really cool like and I'll so I guess go. I just had a go yeah. But and... Matty here, here's what I don't understand about diving <laughs> right so you go all the way up 10 meters or whatever you do you go up 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 to the top you get dizzy yeah and then in two seconds, it's all over. You jump and you hit the water and you think, I didn't do that very well. I've got to go up and <laughs> practice again. again. So you basically again. spend yeah. all your day yeah. jumping from a board into the water saying, I better have another go, going up there again. <laughs> Literally. That, that takes dedication in itself. It does. And it's, honestly, over the years, it's a lot of stairs you have to climb, genuinely. <laughs> You've got to be pretty fit before you even do the dive just to get up there. Yeah, exactly. And when did you and Tom first pair up then? How did that happen? So it was um, just under three years ago so we've only been doing synchro for two and a bit years um, and that basically came around that Tom I think Tom wanted to do synchro with me but I had to still learn a new hard dive um, so as soon as I basically got asked to move my life from Leeds to London um, to start doing synchro with Tom I was just like well of course I'm going to do that I learned the dive as, like, as quick as I could and then and obviously have not regretted it since. I mean it's fascinating looking at those pictures um, synchronized but I was, when I was reading about you, you said on your final dive, and you were only 0.1 away yeah. from the Chinese yeah. duo um, of winning this gold, you said you knew that you had done a fantastic dive, or in your head you were pretty sure, mm -hmm. but you don't know whether Tom has. And yeah. I never thought about that. You just think of you going down together. So yeah. until you bob up, you don't know how no, it's gone. No, you've, you've got no idea. I guess when, when you're spinning around, you, you know, you're obviously going to focus on yourself, because if I focus on Tom, look at him, I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm probably going to land flat on my belly. Um, so until I, I, like, I knew I did a good dive and I like, swam up to the top as quick as I could, and I could hear the, our other uh, our, our teammates cheering really loud. And I knew, obviously, they wouldn't be cheering loud if, if Tom or me yeah. didn't do a good one. So I kind of knew. And then we saw our scores come up, and I was like, but I had no idea we were only one point behind them. Yeah. So like, out in front. So I didn't know we actually had to nail that last dive. So like. I genuinely just can't believe we, we I mean, look did at it. the two of you there. I know, what I know. a moment. Honestly. Yeah, what, what a, a moment. moment. But you see, I, I don't understand, again, like we work as a partnership, we do nothing in sync, really. <laughs> but really? Um, how do you do that business? I mean, do you, do you start off by like holding a bar or something between you? So how do you know uh, how to get it together that you're doing what your partner's doing? So it's actually quite simple, weirdly. Um, we're, we're basically very similar heights, very similar weights, and kind of same body structure. So when we're spinning in the air, we spin at a very same, like the same speed. Um, but it's literally as simple as counting down. So I say ready, Tom says and, one, two, three, go. And then it only takes a few attempts, like in the gym, doing some, just a somersault onto a mat uh, until you get it right. And like it, it was really quick how it came all together like it didn't take that long which is which, which is really cool there must be enormous pressure 
on each of you, isn't there? Because, like you said, you could have done a great dive and found out he was a bit behind you or yeah. vice versa. Yeah. Do you fall out? Uh, honestly, never. Uh, he's, he's Obviously, you've met Tom before and he's really, really nice. And, like, I owe him a lot because when I moved to London, I had no friends or anything. Uh, all my friends and family were in Leeds and he took me under his wing. He, he like, introduced me to his friends and, like, now, now they're my, like, some of my best friends. So, yeah, no, we don't fall out. And I guess when, when we're spinning around, we have, like, like I said, no idea how, how, we're, how he's doing. Um, and it's so, like, strange that it literally went to plan, like, perfectly to plan. Like, and look at that round your neck because know, of it. I know, because it's honestly Listen, crazy. I want to give a shout out. You mentioned Leeds there, so I want to give a shout out to Leeds and to Yorkshire uh, in general here because the, the county has already secured two goals, two silvers at this year's games, previously contributed 14 medals in 2016 and 12 in 2012. Mm. Um, so together with you, uh, we've got uh, mountain biker Tom Piddock, who's got a gold. Uh, taekwondo athlete Bradley Sinden, silver. Georgia Taylor Brown, women's triathlon, silver. What is it about I mean, Yorkshire? Something in the tea. The, yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I was going to say something in the water, but that, that sounds better. Something in the in tea. In your Yorkshire tea. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. Yeah. It is fantastic. Um, would you like to talk a bit about your parents? Because we all know behind every athlete, you know, it's a very supportive team, mm -hmm. coaches, but families. You know, you started when you were seven. Mm -hmm. I've got a godson who, who did swimming, and I know his mum was getting up at five o'clock, yep. taking him before he went to school. So yeah. it, it's a family affair, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, like, absolutely. Like, I, f I feel like it's almost harder for them to, to get up at 5 a.m. Like, I'm going to training, I'm excited, like, before school, but it's like, imagine being, a, like, I, I don't know how, I'm really grateful for them, because obviously without them and all their dedication to driving me and my grandparents, like, I wouldn't be here today. A lot of people will be asking, why are you home? Why are you ahead of everybody? Why are you yeah, back? where's Tom? I know, right, yeah, so Tom's still in Tokyo. He's still got uh, the individual event, which is coming up soon. Um, basically, because of COVID, we, uh, when an athlete finishes, you have, to, you have 48 hours to leave which is sad, and it was really sad to say goodbye to everyone, but it's also really That's special. COVID, that's because of COVID. Yes, yeah, usually right. we'd, uh, all athletes would stay until the closing ceremony, and, and that would be really cool, but it's not that bad. Like, I'm, I'm really grateful to be here sat with you guys as well, and it was nice to get home to my family and friends to And like, how celebrate. was that when you came back? And was there anybody waiting? Were they allowed to wait for you? Yeah, so uh, it was really cool, actually. We got um, fl flown into London, um, and, like, the BA staff were, like, like welcoming, welcoming me. And like ushered me right around the applause. And yeah, yeah, literally. Did... And from like the, the, the just random people that were in the air force, which is really cool. Like I was just like, <laughs> I felt like I was dreaming. Uh, but my mum, dad, brother were waiting for me in arrivals. And as I as I walked through, I saw him, left my baggage, and ran to him. Gave my mum a hug first, and oh. broke down in tears. Oh. Yeah. Um, and I know that you said you and Tom have become great friends, and he said he, he really took you under his wing when mm -hmm. you came to London. And also, um, I just want to show everybody this because he gave you a gift after you'd won this gold medal. Yeah. So he'd obviously organised this before he knew you mm -hmm. were going to get yeah. this gold. Yeah. Um, and this is Tom giving the gift to you. Very oh, good. I love that. So you've got the. You've got that yeah, I've got it on, and I probably won't have a look. It let's off. have a close up of that ring. Where is that, that camera too? Here this we one. go. Oh, fantastic. You're like yeah. a superhero with that. I know, I, gen yeah. I genuinely, I, on the plane home, I was just literally just looking at it the whole time. I didn't sleep, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't do anything. <laughs> Maddie, absolute pleasure. Country's proud of you, everybody's proud of you, your family's proud of you, Yorkshire's proud of Let's you. Let's hold that medal so we can see it. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Well Thank done. you. Welcome Cheers. home. Thank you very much, Steve. Maddie Lee, Olympic gold medalist. Thank you.